The two lumberjacks and the axe. It is an early autumn morning as dawn strikes once again for the two lumberjacks who wake up and get up for a big challenge like every day, walking through the forest to the job site, do a hard day of work, and back to their cabin to rest for the next day. Looks like a wonderful day to get back to work. Hey Aaron, Jake says happily. Yeah, indeed it does. The only thing that would make it better if you were just to shut your mouth and let me have my peace, Aaron replies. As the two lumberjacks get ready for an intense last week of work, they throw on their overalls and plaid jackets and rush out of the door, out of their cabin, that is not the newest, but is livable. The first sight when you walk out of the cabin door is a perfect picture of what you would see fall. The trees, leaves, that all the right colors, the reds, oranges, yellows and the browns all blend together that give you that special feeling that you can't describe. As they are heading towards the site in the deep forest from their cabin, they hear many common sounds. The birds singing their daily songs usually to cheer everyone up. Jake, joyfully walking with his head held up high and singing along to the birds, knowing that nothing can wreck his delightful day. As compared to Aaron, who is grumpy and in no mood to do anything, walking with his face, head face down as if he doesn't want the world to see his face. They still head up towards the job at a perfect pace to make it to work in time to check in and prepare. Aaron slowly falls behind, little by little, but Jake doesn't notice since he is too busy listening to the birds and enjoying nature's sights. It takes Jake a while before he looks back and sees Aaron standing there, not moving, stiff like a rock. What's wrong? Jake yells. We gotta get back before we are late for work. It takes Aaron a few seconds to reply, then says, Seriously, Jake, come here. Now, you must see this. Jake sprints over there in no time and looks at the thing that Aaron sees in the distance. You could just so see the colors, brown, red, and silver. It wasn't the most special thing you could find, but it was an old axe. You could tell by the handle it was old. Just by the handle. But it blended in perfectly with the leaves. It's not a new one by any means. This one is old, and it kind of looks special with the engraved word on the steel piece by the blade. But it's super weird you'd find it in a place like this. Here, there is no cabins around. Even though the handle looks terrible, the piece looks new. This is weird. Don't you agree, Jake? Yeah, I'm surprised you even found this. Someone must have dropped this on their way back from work. The two lumberjacks pick up the weird axe and hurry to the job site before they're late for work and get in huge trouble. They walk about another quarter mile before they hear, hear a loud, screaming, angry voice. Where is my damn axe? I can't believe I lost something so special. I know if someone took it, they can't be far away from here, and I'm going to find you, either at the, around this area or at the job site. Jake and Aaron did not know it was someone's axe. Both did not know what to do. Should they go back, or should they keep it and be late for, and not be late for work? They decided to keep going. They knew they could not risk being late for work. Suddenly, they hear an ATV, and they knew right away it was the owner of the axe, heading to the job site from the east side of the forest. They look back, and there he is, just dripping. They all know this will end badly if he sees Jake and Aaron with the axe. The owner gets, the owner of the axe gets really close to them. Give me back my axe now or I will force you to, says the owner of the axe. We are very sorry, nervously said Jack. We weren't sure if it was anyone's axe or if it was someone just lost it by the way it looked. They give the owner of the axe back his axe and he accepts the apology and understands this whole thing was just an accident and they didn't mean to steal it. The owner's face went from gloomy to a smile. The two lumberjacks learn their lesson and both agree not to take anything that isn't theirs. And if they did and if they didn't know whose it was, they'd find out who it was before they kept it. They both hurried onward to work so they can get this eventful day over.